Two college students were arrested by the Oxford Police Department in Mississippi on January the 14th of 2021 after they were connected to a string of burglaries at homes on College Hill Road. Some of the crimes perpetrated by Ethan Christopher Pruitt and Savannah Claire Nagel, both aged 20, had taken place at the Arbors, a residential community on College Hill Road where many college-aged women lived. A video obtained by the Daily Mississippian showed two people clad in a large jacket and a house robe, climbing the stairs of one of the buildings. While attempting to open the door to an apartment, the duo tried and failed to cover the front door camera. Sometime later, prior to going out of frame, they were seen running down the stairs while carrying several of the items they'd pilfered. After accountancy major Pruitt and psychology major Nagel were identified and arrested, some of the stolen items were returned to their owners. A Lafayette County Justice Court judge gave Pruitt and Nagel $25,000 bonds after they were each charged with three counts of residential burglary, three counts of auto burglary, and one count of credit card fraud. Number 8. Incident in Doncaster On December the 6th of 2023, a car theft in Doncaster, South Yorkshire, was recorded on a homeowner surveillance camera and the clip was subsequently picked up by multiple media outlets. The footage, taken by a camera installed outside the home, showed a man in a dark tracksuit as he got behind the wheel of an SUV. In the moments that followed, the owner emerged from the home, opened the car's door and tried to stop the thief. The latter reversed the vehicle at high speed and the momentum trapped the homeowner against the open door. His body was then slammed into a brick wall, a portion of which shattered on impact. The thief then backed into the street and drove off as the homeowner was left writhing in pain on the ground. Before the video cut off, he was seen limping into his home while clutching his injured arm. Number 7. Croydon Shoplifting Attempt a clip of an attempted theft at a store in Croydon, South London, went viral in the fall of 2023 as it was captured while a shopkeeper was ironically in the midst of giving an interview about the recent shoplifting epidemic. Benedict Selvaratnam was talking to an ITV news journalist when surveillance cameras in the background captured a face-covered man as he stuffed two beer bottles from the aisle in the pockets of his camouflage jacket. A woman was heard saying, I think he's, I think he's stealing, as the audacious thief then tried to move past Selva Ratnam without offering payment for his products. Upon being confronted by the staff, the unidentified man said, I'm going to pay for it in a minute, bro. He then handed over the bottles and demanded that Selva Ratnam move out of his way before leaving the store empty-handed. After the incident, the shopkeeper told the journalist, they're so brazen that no one's going to challenge them adding that thieves had grown accustomed to simply walking in and out of stores. In September of 2023, the chairman of ASDA echoed that sentiment publicly by stating that shoplifting had been basically decriminalized. The British Retail Consortium found that in the summer of 2023, shoplifting had gone up by 27% across 10 of the UK's largest cities. The figures were considered particularly alarming since in 2022, shops had lost nearly a billion pounds to theft, a record number for recent years. Number 6. Raid at LA Nordstrom In August of 2023, a gang of up to 50 shoplifters raided a Nordstrom at the Westfield Topanga Mall and made off with countless luxury goods. Clips of the raid began circulating on social media showing the hooded and balaclava-wearing thieves as they swarmed the store. They were reported to have deployed beer spray on two security guards, which enabled them to carry out the raid unimpeded. Twitter user Noel Escobar was shopping inside the Nordstrom as the raid unfolded, and he recorded a part of it with his cell phone. This is nuts, Escobar was heard saying in the video, as the sound of loud banging and glass shattering echoed in the background. One worker was seen gesturing for customers already present in the store to keep their distance. Some of the looters inadvertently dropped goods amid the chaos as they made their way through glass shards and fallen mannequins. One balaclava-wearing thief was seen slipping and falling as they tried to exit the store. Witnesses reported seeing some of the suspects fleeing in Lexus and BMW vehicles. Between $60,000 and $100,000 worth of merchandise was taken during the raid, 
and no arrests were made by the LAPD in the immediate aftermath. Although smaller in scope, the incident was eerily similar to another that had occurred at a Walnut Creek Nordstrom in November of 2021. Roughly 80 looters had descended on the store, punching and kicking two employees and pepper spraying the third. Much like the 2023 raid, it was suspected to have been a planned event and the thieves were in and out in under a minute. Multiple law enforcement officers were quoted as saying at the time that they'd never heard of such a large number of suspects being involved in a single shoplifting incident. Number 5. Colorado Incident A couple returning to their home in the Denver suburb of Wheat Ridge in Colorado narrowly escaped a robbery attempt on July the 14th of 2022 in a disturbing incident that was captured by their Ring doorbell camera. Towards the end of a walk in the neighborhood, the couple had been followed up to their door by a man and a woman, both of whom appeared to be wearing wigs. The camera recorded the man as he reached down in his sagging pants and pulled out a pistol. In the moments that followed, he charged the couple with the gun, aimed at them, but they quickly shut their door with an audible thud. The woman, who'd been walking closely behind the gun-wielding suspect, turned around and started laughing as she ran away. Her male accomplice followed suit as they both then fled in a silver-colored vehicle, possibly a Kia Sportage. Both of the suspect's faces were clearly visible in the surveillance footage. The Wheat Ridge Police Department uploaded the clip to its Facebook in the incident's wake, writing, if the couple hadn't immediately gone inside and slammed the door, who knows what may have happened. It would emerge that minutes after the recorded incident and about half a mile away, the suspects held a man at gunpoint as he was loading his truck and robbed him of his phone and wallet. Updates on the matter indicated that the police had arrested the male in the video and were still working towards identifying his accomplice. Number 4. Gabriel Canales In August of 2017, a scantily clad New York teenager was recorded stealing from an Uber driver's tip jar in an incident that subsequently went viral. 18-year-old Long Island resident Gabriel Canales and two others were being recorded by the vehicle's surveillance camera while riding in the back seat. As the Uber came to a stop, Canales, who was sitting in the middle, reached into the box where the driver held his tips. She looked straight into the camera and smiled before taking a wad of cash and exiting the vehicle. Canales and the others then ran away and before the video cut off, the driver seemingly realized that he'd been robbed after seeing that the box was empty. The clip went viral two months after the incident and Canales, who was identified on social media, faced tremendous outrage from users online. She was called a rat, pathetic, trash, as well as classless and clueless for targeting a man that was likely struggling to make ends meet. Canales, however, remained defiant in the face of criticism and addressed the matter on her Twitter profile, writing that she was going to state real facts. The team claimed that she'd already apologized to the driver and paid him back in August, showing the receipt for a $5 tip. The total she claimed to have taken from the box. On Instagram, she wrote, I'm wrong for taking $5 and according to the world I need to die, as she complained about being harassed online. Her attitude further enraged netizens, many of whom pointed out that her repaying what she'd stolen wasn't enough to sway their opinion on her character. Speaking to BuzzFeed News, Canales apologized to the driver, a man she only identified as Muhammad, and noted of the theft, it was me being childish. Number 3. Fayetteville Robbery On July the 24th of 2019, a resident of Fayetteville, North Carolina was returning home after a trip to the convenience store when he was ambushed by four masked men. The incident, which occurred at around 10.40 p.m., was recorded by the homeowner's doorbell camera. One of the assailants held a pistol against the man's back and threatened him. Open this door or we're going to kill you! The man was seen bleeding from a wound on his head after he'd been 
pistol whipped. The victim's fiance was inside the home with their two children. She later told local law enforcement that she opened the door upon hearing commotion outside. The intruders barged into the property and stole various items including cash, phones, debit cards, lottery tickets, and marijuana. No further injuries were reported. Prior to fleeing the premises, the robbers smashed the ring doorbell. Updates on the matter indicated the police had posted the video and asked for the public's help in identifying them. Today's topic was inspired by Joe JNC. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Kennedy Oliver and her porch pirate TikTok user Kennedy Oliver shared a video to the platform in the summer of 2023, which showed her porch pirate neighbor in action. The clip was captured by the doorbell camera of Oliver's front door neighbor somewhere in the US. It showed a woman in a black and white patterned dress approaching Oliver's door, which had a package resting by it. The woman turned and walked away, but moments later she returned and snatched the package. The clip quickly gained more than 12 million views, and many of Oliver's followers asked her for a follow-up. A few days after the theft, Oliver was returning from walking her dog when she came upon the porch pirate and confronted her. Their interaction was captured by the same overlooking doorbell camera, and Oliver subsequently posted the footage on TikTok. Even after she was shown the video evidence, the thief maintained her innocence, saying, no, no, I was checking, I was checking the doors. She then asked to see more footage before she was joined by a younger woman who was adamant that a misunderstanding had occurred. The thief didn't admit her guilt but claimed that she'd pay for the package regardless. In the video's caption, Oliver wrote, I don't want her money, I want the package because I know she has it. Before the video cut off, Oliver threatened to call the police but it was unclear if she ever did. If you're enjoying this video about thieves who were caught on camera, then you'll love our next video on when robberies go wrong, coming up right after number one. Stay tuned for more. Number one, Diana DiGiacomo. While walking her dog in Chicago's Lincoln Park neighborhood in December of 2022, an elderly woman was robbed at gunpoint in broad daylight at around 11.20 a.m. 70-year-old Diana DiGiacomo was on the sidewalk in the 1300 block of West Webster Avenue with her dog, Jasper. A face mask wearing man got out of a blue Honda CRV and CCTV would show him approaching DiGiacomo with a pistol drawn. While speaking to a media outlet, DiGiacomo recounted that the man told her, give me your purse or I'll kill you and the dog before pointing the gun at Jasper. DiGiacomo surrendered the purse and the robber took off running. He rummaged through the bag, stealing the woman's phone, wallet, and car keys. He then got into her Jeep Cherokee and drove off. After realizing that she'd been carjacked, DiGiacomo deduced that the robber must have watched her park the vehicle prior to holding her at gunpoint. The culprit wasn't identified in the immediate aftermath. DiGiacomo described the incident as terrifying during an interview with Fox News but noted that she was all right as she had family taking really good care of her. Number 7. Susan Mice In February of 2018, a Texas teenager was accused of orchestrating the armed robbery of one of her friends. 17-year-old Susan Mice reportedly offered Preston Barry $150 in exchange for him giving two of her acquaintances a ride to Houston. Mize's proposition was a ruse designed to lure Barry into an armed carjacking and kidnapping perpetrated by two co-conspirators. On the night of the incident, Barry was ambushed in his car by a pair of teenage suspects that were secretly working alongside Mize, who pretended to be an unsuspecting victim throughout the attack. Barry was ordered into the back seat by a 15-year-old male wielding a firearm. The other suspect, a 16-year-old male, brandished a knife as Barry joined him in the back. He was then restrained with Mize's shoelaces, and the two robbers allegedly struck him several times, repeatedly threatening him with their weapons. The suspects then drove to an ATM where they forced Barry to withdraw an unspecified sum of money. After obtaining the cash, the teens drove Mize back to her home 
in Montgomery County and dropped her off. Once he was alone with the armed perpetrators, Barry revealed that he had more money at his parents' home. When the robbers took him there, however, Barry managed to escape their capture and subsequently locked them out of the house. The victim's family contacted local authorities, who tracked down the stolen vehicle at Dennis Johnson Park. A short while later, warrants were issued for the two male suspects' arrests, while Mize was brought in for questioning by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. During her interview with investigators, Mize ultimately confessed to planning the armed robbery herself and to recruiting the two teenage boys who carried it out. She was charged with felony aggravated robbery and was booked into the Montgomery County Jail. Number 6. Molly Elizabeth Peter and Larry DeAndre Ratliff Jr. A teenager was arrested and sentenced to 25 years in prison for her role in a drug deal gone wrong on April the 11th of 2017. 18-year-old Molly Elizabeth Peter, a resident of Des Moines, Iowa, allegedly served as the getaway driver during an armed robbery at a parking lot in Beaverdale. The young woman was an accomplice to Larry DeAndre Ratliff Jr., age 26. The latter was carrying out a prearranged narcotics transaction with Antonio Eugene Quinn and Michael Allen James Jr. when gunfire broke out. The drug deal had turned into a robbery during the course of which Ratliff shot Quinn in the chest and James in the arm. Des Moines police were notified of the shooting at about 9.20 p.m. and the wounded pair were transported to a nearby hospital. James was discharged the following day but Quinn ultimately succumbed to his injuries. Investigators swiftly identified Ratliff as the perpetrator of the fatal shooting and he was consequently charged with the murder and attempted murder of the two victims. He was sentenced to life in prison while his accomplice, Peter, also faced criminal charges in connection to the deadly incident. Her 25-year prison term was decided following convictions on charges of first-degree murder, attempted murder and first-degree robbery. Peter had held jobs at various fast food restaurants prior to her imprisonment and her Facebook profile indicated that she was engaged to be married. Number 5. The Duct Tape Bandit In August of 2007, a liquor store in Kentucky was robbed by a man who'd wrapped silver duct tape around his head in an effort to conceal his identity. The suspect's crude disguise led to him being dubbed the Duct Tape Bandit by several media outlets. The 24-year-old robber, whose real name was Casey Casey, carried out the high-profile heist at Shamrock Liquors in the city of Ashland. The store's manager reportedly spotted Casey attempting to steal $15 worth of rolled coins and proceeded to chase the masked man out into the parking lot. Casey was then tackled to the ground by another store employee who held him down until the arrival of law enforcement. Police officers were forced to meticulously peel each layer of duct tape off the suspect's face so as to identify him. In a television interview that subsequently went viral, Casey maintained his innocence and vehemently denied being the duct tape bandit. Nevertheless, he was ultimately charged with first-degree robbery and sent to prison for the crime. In April of 2015, Casey admitted guilt in an entirely unrelated case involving the mugging of an Ashland businessman in an alleyway. Casey committed this particular offense while out on parole and was arrested once more, resulting in a sentence of 12 years behind bars on a second robbery conviction. Number 4. Kendall Reynolds and Taiwana Antoinette Cody A 21-year-old woman was killed by rounds fired from her own gun while attempting to rob two men in central Georgia on October the 10th of 2021. Kendall Reynolds and Taiwana Antoinette Cody, aged 42, had met up with a pair of men during the evening hours of October the 9th. Later on in the night, as the four individuals rode together in a vehicle in Warner Robins, Reynolds allegedly brandished a firearm in an attempt to rob the male passengers. An altercation ensued in which one of the men reached for the gun in an effort to disarm Reynolds. During the struggle, the weapon was discharged and in an ironic twist of fate, Reynolds herself was struck. Local authorities responded to a report of shots fired just before 1 a.m. Following the arrival of emergency personnel, Reynolds was transported to Houston Medical Center where she would ultimately pass away from her injuries. Warner Robins police later determined that Cody had acted as Reynolds' accomplice and she was charged with various offenses in connection to the armed robbery itself as well as the death of her criminal associate. Number 3. Robert C. Williams 
In February of 2014, a Maryland man was arrested following a failed robbery at a PNC bank in Laurel. Law enforcement officers pursued the perpetrator, later identified as Robert C. Williams, all the way to a Columbia neighborhood after he'd fled with approximately $20,000 in cash. The robbery was fraught with a number of crucial mistakes which gradually unfolded. At the onset of Williams' escape attempt, after entering the bank and implying he was armed, he demanded money from one of the tellers on duty. Before trying to make his way out of the building with bundles of stacked bills in his arms, the PNC surveillance cameras captured Williams dropping the stolen cash all over the floor of the bank. He then frantically attempted to shovel the money back into his pockets and even placed some of the scattered bills inside of an upturned umbrella positioned nearby. After collecting as much money as he could, Williams rushed to the green minivan he'd parked outside. As he drove away from the scene, the robber unwittingly passed directly over a set of spike strips that had been set up by Howard County Police. He led officers on a 15-mile chase with a vehicle hampered by a pair of flat tires. He was eventually forced to stop while traveling on Route 29, exit the disabled car and flee on foot. In what would be his final slip-up, Williams lost his balance on a patch of ice and was finally corralled by the officers in pursuit who found a backpack containing the stolen cash in his possession. Number 2. The Cardiff ATM Robbery A 77-year-old pensioner successfully defended himself from an armed robber who'd accosted him as he was attempting to withdraw money from an ATM in Wales. The elderly victim was Trevor Weston, a retired Cardiff bus driver who'd made an early morning stop at a Sainsbury's supermarket on February the 17th of 2020 in order to take out cash to pay for the daily newspaper. After placing the money he had withdrawn into his wallet, the grandfather of three was approached from behind by a masked man who was wearing a black baseball hat and a reflective safety jacket. The suspect, later identified as Michael Leonard Collins, aged 40, pinned Weston against a garbage bin and demanded the man's wallet. He allegedly threatened to stab the elderly victim if he failed to comply with his commands. Weston fought back against his assailant, landing a couple of punches near Collins' neck prompting the would-be robber to flee the scene empty-handed. The footage pulled from the store surveillance cameras went viral after news of the incident had begun circulating internationally. The mugger eventually pleaded guilty to the charges levied against him in connection to the attempted robbery. Speaking after the incident, Weston recounted that he'd previously suffered a broken right shoulder in a fall at home, which forced him to use his left arm, the weaker of the two, as he struck his attacker. He also claimed to have never been in a fight prior to his run-in with Collins. Number 1. The Theodore Home Invasion A 62-year-old military veteran successfully fought off three would-be robbers during a violent home invasion. In June of 2017, Michael Irvin of Theodore, Alabama had already been robbed a couple of weeks prior to the incident in question. The three suspects had stolen the former Marine's cancer medication and had also threatened to return to the man's home if he reported the theft to the police. Irving was unfazed by their attempts to intimidate him and he promptly notified the authorities of the robbery. On the evening of June the 22nd, Irving heard a knock at his front door. Upon opening it, he was immediately met with a shotgun blast from point-blank range. Irving had, however, installed a plexiglass doorframe following his first encounter with the robbers. The thick frame managed to slow down the momentum of the buckshot enough to save the homeowner's life and allow him to retreat to the kitchen. Irving then grabbed hold of a handgun that he'd stashed in one of his cabinets and opened fire on the intruders, hitting each of them and inflicting non-fatal wounds. Two of the robbers managed to escape from the home and flee the scene in a vehicle after being found by Mobile County deputies at a Dollar General two miles away, they were taken into custody, as was the third accomplice who'd remained wounded at Irving's residence. The suspects named as Casey Ray Gann, Joseph Heathcock and Chased Dullaban all faced charges of first-degree robbery, first-degree burglary and second-degree assault. Thanks for watching. Would you rather go viral for stealing from a blind person or for literally taking candy from a baby? Let us know in the comments section below.